Every time I see a new Godzilla trailer, that's what happens. <laughs> this planet ain't big enough for the two. Oh, my hand's showing. This planet ain't big enough for the two of us alphas. Your turn. <laughs> but I don't know what to say. Oh my god. Say something, damn it. <laughs> How do you stand up to that? That was some wise words from Godzilla, Steve. I can't stand up to that. I don't know what to say. Literally, what's my line? Um, there can be only one? Highlander? Highlander. Go, I'm going back to my side. There can only be one. Need my katana. There can be only one is the line. God. I need my katana, Steve. There can only be one. Hi, guys. Ah, oh, his voice goes like this. <laughs> there can be only one. Get, no. Not the right vi movie thing. You're... Maybe sequel? That'd be a cool sequel. Make it a sequel. Ah! <laughs> hey Rangers, welcome to Super Report V's. My name's Steve. Let me squeeze in here. My name's Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the Godzilla King of the Monsters Battle Packs. Uh, we're going to go over all three of them uh, with the Godzilla Mothra set, the Rodan and Godzilla. I don't know why it took me a second to remember his name. And then Godzilla and King Ghidorah. You guys heard it, Steve. Already forgot about these packs. <laughs> I'm just like, what's your name again? Most iconic monster ever made. Uh, but we just have the one package on the back here because I didn't want to go find all the inserts for every single one of them. So I'm lazy. Um, also, uh, this guy's a spoiler. <laughs> if you guys didn't know already. Not a spoiler. He just it's got not even really a spoiler anymore. Like, if you've seen the trailers, you've seen this. We just don't know like how much this really pertains to the movie or how it pertains. But it pertains. Nonetheless, uh, but anyways, we're just going to pretty much just get into these uh, because for the most part, there isn't that much to really go over. No, there isn't. They're right. like, the like if you see our unboxing, you pretty much saw the review. Yeah, you kind of saw the review for all of these yeah. <laughs> for the most part, but we've had some requests, so we're going to get into it. Oh, neat. All right. So I was like, does Rodan come with the glowy guys? Oh, why is that got way more detail than what this one does? Dude, that is not even fair. Look at right, that. Right, like, look at the black. Like, it looks more like the poster. And then we got, like, oh, man, I'm actually kind of sad. I'm making myself more back. sad. So, back. anyways, we're just going to get, you know what? We're just going to get into this review. We're going to be super unofficial about our super unimportant review. Uh, if you get these, uh, this what one was do? for the King Ghidorah. This one was for Rodan. This one was for Mothra. I uh, think Mothra was the lava one, because that's where it belongs. Sure. <laughs> you get these little stands so that you can recreate epic fight scenes. So you take your Godzilla. You that is one massive You building. take your Mothra. <laughs> and bam, you're recreating things. Problem is, is like... There we go. Mothra. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't move. It's actually kind of... Leave it right there. I kind of need it like riding. There we go. So, okay. Better. <laughs> no. That's how you solve this. This is worth problems. money. God. Anyways. <laughs> um, Don't worry. Arnold is next on the floor. Oh, God. Please, no. <laughs> um, I kind of wish these were bigger. Like, picture wise, like, it looks fine, but it's just, it's just cardboard. So. They could have made it bigger. It's yeah, cardboard. to be fair, they could have just, like, put it on the back of this or something and just you cut it out and then put it on the stand. That would have been more, um, or, uh, you know, just better. <laughs> just gonna use the simplest word. Because then it would have, like, uncovered both the figures and you could kind of make it work. With this, I don't, I don't, as a collector, I don't know what I'm really pulling off here <laughs> by opening these and displaying it with this. And as a kid, I would lose this thing in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. And then they had to spend extra money on this to, for the cardboard. That would so, have ended like, up in the trash. As a kid, as soon as I opened that, that would have been part of the box, part of the trash. And even then, you didn't even need the stand. Like, you could have just been like, here's my box. <laughs> Monsters go to town on the back. Like, that, to me, would have been better than what we got with this. <laughs> Steve, shut the lights up. Thanks, I'm blogging. All right, better. But yeah, they, they already come like they're already like dinged up inside of the packaging. Like I think one of these we got we got was actually yeah, like yeah, like one. this one has a crease in it. 
So I'm keeping the sleeves just in case these become valuable at some time. <laughs> I have them. You never know. Um, but for kids, like, eh, like it would have been cooler if these would have came with broken buildings, like the larger sets did. And to be honest, like the buildings would have worked better with these. Um, but for a closer look at the detailing for these guys, start with the Godzillas. We'll go with, hey, actually, you know what? We'll start with the basic one. You gonna um, work your way up? Yeah, which for the molding of the detailing, it's not too bad. It's like a smaller Bandai vinyl, is what this reminds me a lot of. Which I'm okay but with. you get some articulation out of it though, just like you do on the big one. Like literally, this is like a small version of the big one, right? Yeah. So you get a little bit of play with it. This one you can actually rotate the head though. Whoa, whoa, mind blown. So right? it's already better <laughs> than the large one. Then you also don't get the screw holes. So my only problem is, is like, at least like if you buy these battle packs, you get gods, you get like, you get all the monsters and they scale. Well, if you get the, the, uh, the middle set, you only get Rodan and King Ghidorah and then you get a giant Godzilla. So like nothing really works together outside of these smaller ones. So I feel like I need all these then because they all work together, but they don't have broken buildings and stuff to play with. So it's, it makes me sad. Especially for like a kid purposes, like I would have opened these and then found other things to play with them with. <laughs> uh, but like the wash on the front's not too bad. It does it cover a lot of the leg, and I think like if they were going for this, like they should have just did it to the entirety of the figure. Because you'll see here, like it even stops once you get to this section of the tail, and it's just they didn't do it anymore. And it's weird because like the wash I think should have been on the inside of the leg, but yeah. It's, all encompasses the outside and it's just it's weird it's an odd look to say the least uh they even got little dots here for the eyes though the teeth are individually painted yeah like, it's not it's not bad like for 10 bucks i'm i'm it's it's not blowing me away but it's also like i'm not turned off by anything here um like for the blue one like this one's probably, I think, the best one, which makes me sad because after looking at the box, it's like the the little black lines would actually been kind of cool. Also, like the blue isn't at the top of the head or also at the tail, so you can tell like this got painted, this not so much, but it does have the blue eyes. I would choose the first one we just did over that one, just because of that crappy blue job they did on it. But then you don't get the crappy uh, the wash over the legs, like the legs are clean. I feel like either way you're losing so far <laughs> a little bit like you get a lighter wash on the stomach like to me i like the paint at the job slightly more on this one uh, but detailing exact same burning one here king Ghidorah's tail is showing up get down Ghidorah. uh mostly the same but i like that there's at least like some semblance of a transition yeah like see that one right there is not bad at all and then down here you also get like it's sort of like a transition. But I hate this stupid wash on the legs. Like, it's just like, it stops. And it's not on the inside. So there's like... It doesn't make sense. He's also kind of on his toes. So is his toes on fire? He stepped in Rodan crap. <laughs> right? The eyes are right on this one. But again, mostly same detailing. So, Godzilla's not too bad. Moving on to the other kaijus, we have Rodin. Rodin! Probably, I think, the best one. He's got a little hair on his claw. Uh, he's but, got hairy claws. Oh my god, he's King Ghidra. <laughs> right? <laughs> but the wings. Sorry, Aaron. Flat forward and back. Claws. Move forward and back. Head. Side to side. Kind of looks like they could go forward and back, but I guess not. Um, but for me, I think like molded detailing, this is probably... Um, my favorite, just like the larger one, but the larger one's bigger, so it wins. Uh, but you get what kind of looks like when you like watch those like documentaries on like volcanoes erupting. You have like the lava flow, yeah, that's starting to harden. Like that's what the texturing kind of reminds me of. It looks kind of cool, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's just like like a very like off-colored red for the undercoat, and then a brighter red for the dry brushing that they did over top, and it works. It works really well for me. For the eyes, got like a little dab of yellow. That's pretty much about it. But that's really all you needed. So he's pretty cool. Like his entire pack, I think to me, is the best painted. 
Yeah. Together. Uh, for the Hingadora, who is the most massive of the bunch, showing you guys next to a Godzilla. He's actually kind of in scale from the things that we've seen. Well, yeah, well, like, that's what's nice about these sets is he's larger, but that's just, that's how it works. And he's not, like, overtly larger than the other one. So, it's cool. He also, like, it's just, like, a smaller scale, the the big one, too, but the hinges aren't quite as obnoxious looking on this Hide one. Him. Hide him. Well, it's just, like, you have that giant, like, obvious hinge there, but the uh, the wings, there's not as much of a gap. So, from the front. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not too shabby. But then again, when it's on the front, it's also, like, super front heavy, so it just tips over. You also get some articulation here at the neck, which... You get this individual one, and then these two move here. So it's kind of like this one can blow off. Right? I'm telling you, they're giving a subtle hint, Steve. <laughs> right. Uh, for the legs, can go forward and back. Tail, rotate side to side. Nothing too crazy. A little detailing. Not too bad. I kind of wish it was more metallic. Like, it's a very uh, flat gold coloring. Uh, but it's definitely, it's painted over top of another color. It's kind of hard for me to tell. Kind of, maybe a brown, per se. But sculpting for the body is pretty decent. Kind of trying to figure out, like, how these necks line up. Because you have, like, this here. Like, the fuzz on the side. Well, I guess it'd be more like that. Trying to line it up. So this is, like, how it's meant to look. Head sculpts are a little bit on the duller side, but you still see enough of the detailing to definitely convey that's King Ghidorah. Uh, you get a little white splashes there for the eyes. And overall, like, cool looking dragon. It's got a decent amount of molded detailing, but it's just like the neck and the face are just kind of boring for this figure. But the wings look cool. I'll give it one thing like, they, they did a pretty good job of molding the wings. Although, I don't think it's supposed to have that little, like, bat claw right there. What do you mean? Well, because, like, the monster arts, it doesn't have any. I think in the tra like in the trailers, it doesn't have that either. So, for reasons, it's on the Jax. I think it's on the Bandai, too. So, what is he, Batman? Maybe. It's like, justice. <laughs> but still pretty neat. And then, finally, we found out in our giveaway that this guy is easily the strongest of all the kaijus because you could take a hammer to this thing Where's and Arnold it, it'll, it'll survive. <laughs> but the... Uh, I don't even know what to call it a paint job. It's like a sticker on the wings. Same with on the back here too, which makes sense. And then it's just like thin plastic for the sides here. You can even see like the clip marks from the factory. But it gives it a nice like little shine effect. But... I'm kind of worry about like with it being a sticker over time, like this peeling off with a lot of play. But the wings are on a ball joint, so you get decent range of motion. Same with the. I that think that's it. Yeah, the claws hammer don't move. Time. No, no hammer time. We found out like ham like he is impervious to blunt force trauma, or she. Sorry, she. Uh, you get a little bit of blue here for the eyes. Uh, molding for the body. You can see like a little bit of the plating on the rear section here. Claws. It's got some toes. And then the mantis claws on the front. And uh, done in a brown. <laughs> like a dirt brown color. It's almost just like a giant flying turd with wings. Right? In terms of the coloring. I honestly don't know. It's like fitting for you, right? Because you hate Mothra, so just go with it. Sure. So we go third. You also get some third, eyes. Third, third, I can't even speak. Like, I wonder, like, it's like, does, is that how she sees? Because she's like a goddess. I know it's like, just like, uh, oh, what? It's for, um, to keep predators away. Like, they think it's bigger, but it's a, a giant moth fighting giant dragons. Like, is that, is this yeah, effective? It's going to die, and I'm going <laughs> to enjoy every bit of it. Probably. But still pretty neat little figure. All right, so we're only going to do the one comparison here. But here we have the smaller battle pack, Jack specific Godzilla King of the Monster figures compared next to the slightly larger Ghidorah and Rodan and the 20-inch long, long Godzilla. 
Uh, for the most part, again, really like the scaling of pretty much all these guys. Although the Hekidora next to the Godzilla is almost better because it stands up more upright than the smaller one does. But still, like the scaling for that. If you guys were curious, I did grab these guys so you guys could see these compared next to the old Bandai Battle Pack ones. And uh, for the most part, pretty much about the same in size. The Bandai ones are a little bit better detailed. But if you wanted to have your monsters battling, like, it's pretty darn close. So overall for the Battle Packs, these things are, eh? Like for 10 bucks, they're pretty cool. Um, for kids though, I don't know. Like I feel like I would have liked these when I was younger because they were all in scale, which is something that I would have wanted. Um, and I still would have played with them together regardless, but I just wish that they would have came with like the broken buildings like the larger ones did. Yeah. Like you could just throw broken buildings with everything and I would have been okay with it. Well, I don't know. Like, I don't... <sighs> These packs are kind of like 50-50 for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. They have a lot of issues, but then even as a kid, I don't know if I would have played with this much. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I still would have enjoyed these a lot. And then it's like for 30 bucks, you get all the monsters, well, all the main monsters in the movie, which is where I'm going to recommend it. Like, definitely for younger kids, this is a cool set. For collectors, unless you're going to keep it in the box, I would just wait for the NECAs. Yeah, don't open it. Yeah, just save your money. Because, what, you add 10 more dollars and you get a NECA ones? Yeah, just a little over. Yeah. And, spoiler alert, might be the same review we have for the other ones, but anyways. What do you guys think? If you guys picked these up, what monster are you most excited about from King of the Monsters or is Toho just more thing? Please let us know in the comments. We also have an Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. If you guys like to help support the channel or keep up to date with the channel, make sure to go follow those. We also have a t-shirt shop. If you guys like to help support the channel in another way, definitely make sure to follow the link in the description and help us defeat those guys by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.